The data of the Avatar AF study raised significant questions and to me as an electrophysiologist, a doctor, healthcare professional, also some concerns. What was Avatar AF about? Avatar AF was a prospective randomized trial that was conducted in uh, the United Kingdom and it assessed uh, three different treatment pathways for patients with paroxysmal atrial fibrillation. 300 patients were randomized to undergo conventional catheter ablation of atrial fibrillation using the cryo-balloon technology, 100 patients. 100 patients were randomized to receive enterythmic drug treatment and 100 uh, patients, and this is the most interesting cohort, were randomized to um, undergo um, modulated protocol for pulmonary vein isolation using, using the cryo balloon, which uh, uh, did not include uh, a pulmonary vein mapping and assessment of electrical activity to the, for the pulmonary veins, but was more or less driven by uh, what they called straightforward treatment pathway. You simply put in the balloon, you freeze it down, you don't check for the effect of the, uh, of the uh, freeze and take the, take the catheter out. The endpoint was also a little bit unusual. It was not AF burden, it was not related to symptoms, but the endpoint was the, uh, any hospitalization related to arrhythmia issues, arrhythmia recurrence or any other arrhythmia related uh, events. It was interesting to see that both atrial fibrillation ablation arms with this endpoint in mind uh, were better as compared to enterythmic drug therapy. Okay, we have known that before, catheter ablation with cryoballoon or with, with the radio frequency energy is superior to enterythmic drug treatment. The second, and this is a, a really uh, a message we have to think through and that we have to, to grade very carefully, was that the conventional mapping-based uh, uh, ablation of the pulmonary veins seems to have the same outcome when you take the endpoint that I've introduced as compared to the abbreviated approach, just putting in, pulling in the cry balloon into the pulmonary vein and freezing and, and take it out. I think that uh, the, uh, the summary and the interpretation of these results that no matter what you do with the cryo balloon, whether or not you go on electrophysiological measures or not, doesn't matter, the outcome will be the same, cuts too short. I personally believe that we should interpret the results of the Avatar AF trial with particular caution and that by no means this uh, setup should be, uh, should be called out for, uh, for use in, in clinical practice.